in this demo you will see how the integration between ALM Optane and Gyro works. We will not show you the technical side of the integration, but more the end user side of the integration. So let's assume you are managing your backlogs in Gyra on the team level and you would like to extend the capabilities to test management and quality management using ALM Octane. So let's see how this can be done. We go first into Gyra. And from here, I will just create a new user story. As an user, I want to activate two factor authentication. So that's my simple user story. Let's add it here. And I would also like to apply here the description. So let's add the description here as well. As well, I would like to add a field, which is the story point field. Let me quickly log in here, look for the story point, add field, and here I would like to say this is, let's say two story points. So now I've added all this data, and the first thing you have maybe realized that on the right hand side, there is a plugin installed on top of the synchronization, which is running in the backend between Gyra and LM Octane. So I've just created my user story uh, in Gyra, and you can see that here in this area, ALM Octane test coverage, the user story is already in ALM Octane. So by clicking on this ID, I will be redirected automatically to ALM Octane to view the user story. So let's go into Octane to see how this user story looks like. So in Octane, I can see that the story is synchronized. It has the description, the story points, and the status to do is mapped to the current status, which is uh, new. So now as the first step, the user will start working, the team member will start working in Jira and implement the user story. So he will say first, I would like to put this in progress. So while this story is in progress and being tested um, then the code is written um, also this status is transferred back to ALM Octane so let's see how this looks like in Octane so let's go from here to Octane and we can see it is a new I need to refresh on the item to see it, it has moved in progress now so now the developer uh, will work in Jira and create the code and implement the story. And at some point in time, he will move the story to testing. So let's go into Jira and see here from the workflow, I can move it into testing. So now this story is moved into testing and I can go in ALM Octane and create the test cases now. So now I'm in Octane. I need to refresh here. So I can see it is in testing. And let's create now the test cases. I will create a new test case. Let's say two factor, two factor authentication. Add an edit. And in Octane, I can now describe the test case itself. So I will instruct the user to, or the tester to do uh, login into Advantage Online Shopping in app. Go to your profile. Click on Activate. To F authentication and validate the message should displays the 2F authentication is active. 
notification is active. That's it. So that's my test, a very simple test, and I can see it directly here on the user story. So let's go back to the user story. I see I have one test which is uh, linked to this user story. And now I will go back to Jira and see here I can still see there's no test, so I need to re-click. And there's this plugin fetches the data at real time. So I can now see there is one test in LM Octane. And on that one test, if I would plan it, so let's plan uh, the test for execution and we will plan it for execution. So I can see here a new run is created and I can see the run in LM Octane. And in a Jira, I'm able to see that now there is one test which is planned. Uh, so it's also very good for the developer to directly see what's going on on the testing side and get the information immediately uh, at real time if there is any progress on the quality and coverage. So now let's go into LM Octane and execute the test. So I can also click on that link to view the test and um, execute. But I will do it from Octane. So here I'm already on the test run, which is planned. I can see here it is planned. So let's run it. And I execute all the steps. And here I can uh, see that it was not active. Yeah, so the two uh, factor authentication on my test could not be activated because the authentication service is down. So let's say here we will say error authentication service provider is down. I can also copy all the steps here into LM Octane and say add defect and close my test run. Yeah, so this test is failed. I can see it on LM Octane side. And in Jira, if I click again, it says me that the test case which was covering this story has been failed. So now there's a very special thing. In LM Octane, we have a auto-populated content feature. Means whenever a user story is not yet in done, um, and I'm creating a defect on a test execution on its coverage, it will link automatically the defect created during the test execution with the user story. And this is very important not only to see where the problem lies uh, on the quality side, but also for the developer to see what are the user story which are blocked by different uh, defects. So basically, this link is also transferred back to Jira uh, with the synchronization and we will see it. Let's go into Jira. In Jira, I can now click on the user story and I should see here immediately the defect has been synchronized as well. Authentication service provider is down and I need to refresh Jira. Just one second. So. I can see also in the list the defect appears now and now the developer can work on this defect, go through the whole workflow and fix it. And once the defect is fixed in Octane, the test can be re-executed. -ex so let's say we go back in ALM Octane on the test level and we say we do it just like that. We run it now and assume that the defect is fixed and we perform here the test execution and for the tester it is very important to see what was going on on this uh, test case uh, so you find also all the test defect from previous run which are listed here in LM Octane and you can link also additional defects or create directly defect before you start a run but now I can run the test and say this is passed and end the execution I can see here the test coverage on the user story is fine. One test is uh, green. And in Jira, I can also see here that the test is passed as well. 
For sure, we did not go through the whole workflow of the defect. This should be strike through, but however, this is the simulation how the end to end demo in uh, the data exchange looks like. And this plugin does not only report on the manual test execution, it provides also automated test execution. So if you ha have automated test, you can link it as well in this uh, area. Um, and the developer will see directly that the test case is finished. It doesn't matter if it's an automated or manual test. So in Octane, I can go here and add also existing test uh, to it. Currently, I have only manual test, but if there will be automated test, I can also add it directly here and they will be applied as well.